Welcome, fourth graders, to lesson number nine. Can you guess what word type today's lesson will be about? Today's fabulous English lesson will be incredibly useful at helping you, wonderful students, to create detailed and imaginative pieces of writing. Can you think what type of word am I talking about? I'm talking about adjectives. We are learning to understand how adjectives can make writings more interesting and complete. But what are adjectives? They are describing words. They tell us more information about nouns. They can be used in two ways. They can be placed before nouns uh, or after certain verbs. But we need to remember what is a noun. A noun is a word that names people, animals, places, and things. A noun can tell who or what. We also need to remember what are verbs. A verb describes or, or indicates an action. For example, I can jump when I'm happy. My dad loves to walk every morning. Here we have the examples. Before the noun, it would look like this. I ate a delicious red apple. Or, I have a little brown dog. After the verb, like seem, is, and appear, my mother is furious. Or, the lady seems strong. The new teacher appears nice. Now that we talked about adjectives, I want you to do the following task. You are going to read each sentence, pause the video after I read each sentence, and think which are the adjectives in each of them. My sister put on her beautiful sweater and ran outside in her yellow rain boots. The big black cat caught the scared little mouse. The bright sunlight came through the small window. Now you're going to pause the video and think which are the adjectives in each sentence. Okay, now let's check. Sentence number one. My sister put on her beautiful sweater and ran outside in her yellow rain boots. Excellent, very good. In sentence number two, which would be the adjective? Big, black, scared, a little. Finally, the bright sunlight came to the small window. So how was the window? Small. And finally, we have task number two. In this task, you're going to begin at the starting point, and you're going to create a path to the finish by coloring in the boxes that have adjectives. It would be lovely if you could do this in your copybook and then color the blank spaces. We have a list of words where you have to begin in the start and color until you get to the finish line. Pause the video so you can do this activity. Okay, now we're going to check. The first adjective would be blue, then small, then clear, noisy when there's a lot of noise, or somebody can be really tall, soft, 
strong and pretty. Wow, we got to the finish line. Very good. Now it's time for you to check how much did you learn. Go to the second presentation and practice.